welcome to this week's Alliance Concrete Pumps Tech Tip Tuesday and this week we're just going to cover uh, some good uh, techniques while checking the fuses in here. Uh, obviously you're going to want to be in PTO to get power here and once you're in there there will be two fuses we're just going to specifically focus on those 7F11 and 9F10. 7F11 is your dump valve fuse and uh, what comes up with that is you will not show any power there unless all your e-stops are clear, the remote is paired, and you have honked the horn. So if you're uh, checking your fuses up there and there's not power there, it's no big concern. Uh, make sure your remote's linked, horn's honked, and all your e-stops are cleared. You can see on the pills relay, it'll clear, and uh, you should have power there at that point. Coming over to 9F10, that is the boom control fuse. So these are both coming from the uh, Scanrico or uh, HBC remote boxes. So that's feeding back through the panel and fused here. That one, uh, you can also expect not to have power there while just in PTO. Uh, the deal with that one is you have to clear your e-stops, um, pair your remote, honk the horn, and the only way you will get power to 9F10 is if you're actually using a boom function. So for that, uh, you don't even have to have the truck running. You can have it out of PTO for safety reasons. You don't want the boom moving, obviously, if you're not paying attention. And you can just touch your remote, pull the stick back with your uh, boom selected, and you should see power there. And if you release, you should see it go away. Uh, other than that, all the other ones should have power while you're in PTO. And that's just a really quick tip on uh, what to do when you're checking your fuses. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to give our service department a call. And uh, we have more of these Tech Tip Tuesday, Tuesdays. We film them quite often. Every Tuesday we shoot for. And uh, if you're looking for more of those, you can find them on our website, our Facebook, or our Instagram. And uh, like I said, give our service department a call if you have any questions. And uh, that concludes this week's Tech Tip Tuesday. And we hope to see you back here for next week.